The FAA's endorsement here is a big deal for, for you. What does this mean for Archer Next? Yeah, so uh, thanks for having me on today. So Archer is building electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicles, and they're to be used in the urban air mobility market. And these are vehicles that will be affordable and designed to be as safe as commercial, commercial airlines. And so we're certifying these vehicles in the US with the FAA. And today we announced the first major milestone in this process by receiving what's called our G1 certification basis. And so we believe we're one of the only companies in our industry really in the world to have accomplished this step. And so it's a really significant one because this is one of the hardest parts of the entire certification planning process. So it's a really big deal. And um, by approving Archer's G1 certification basis, it's also really showing just the FAA has been you know, very forward thinking in helping working towards sustainable forms of air transportation. When do you imagine commercial rollout would be? Joby Aviation, which you know, of course is also working on air taxi, says they're gonna be ready in 2024. Yeah, so um, our certification timeline is actually follows a similar pattern here. So um, we have announced that we think we can get through the certification process by the end of 2024. And we actually announced two of our early launch city partners that we are, where we'll be deploying the vehicles. And that's uh, Los Angeles and in Miami. How does Archer differ from Joby? Yeah, so I think the, uh, the industry of urban air mobility um, certainly has the potential to be a very big one. And I know we're both building vehicles um, that, are, that are out there to be deployed in this industry. Um, but maybe if I could just focus on the Archer perspective, I mean, it's really um, a, a pretty unbelievable amount of momentum that you've seen across the entire industry. And specifically within Archer, I mean, we've announced a, a huge partnership this year with uh, United Airlines, where they're going to be purchasing a billion dollars of aircraft from us. Um, they also have an option for another half a billion. And then we also announced a big partnership with the uh, auto manufacturer Stellantis, which is the recent merger from Fiat Chrysler and Peugeot. And so you really look at the partners that have come into the uh, urban air mobility market that are really helping this industry um, you know, come to its form in 2024. Um, and it really sets up for quite an attractive um, you know, um, you know, positioning here for the industry. And with the city partners between Los Angeles and Miami, um, you know, it really, uh, we're getting much closer, I think, than, much than many people would actually think. Now, you've been embroiled in a court battle with another company called Whisk, a rival air taxi company. They claim designs were stolen from them. Can you give us an update on this and on your position? Yeah, so, uh, you know, today is really about uh, the momentum we've seen, you know, with Archer, but we are very pleased with the court's recent ruling denying the preliminary injunction. And so, as we've stated out there, uh, you know, publicly, we believe the case has no merit and uh, was really just brought as a way to stifle competition. So you're planning to a SPAC as well. You know, talk to us about you know, what the money for that will allow and the vision, really. I mean, paint the Jetsonian picture of the future, if you will. You know, how often will regular people be riding in an air taxi to where and when? So the industry has really come together, kind of a culmination of three big things that have happened. So one is regulatory. There is a framework in place that now will allow companies to certify these vehicles. Um, the second is you've really seen this environment now where capital has become available um, to, uh, to hardware companies. And I think, you know, looking back historically, um, financing hardware companies was, uh, you know, was pretty challenging. And so you kind of have this setup here where, you know, the third leg of the stool really is technology that's really evolved. And so the advancements we've seen with, uh, you know, electric uh, powertrains, you know, batteries and electric motors have gotten us to this point where the uh, kind of the, the core ingredients are in place to have the industry actually come to life. And so now it's really all about getting through the certification process. And so uh, we are making our way through that process. The G1 is really a, a good way to help the industry understand that there is a, a, a timeline now that we can start working towards um, and helping everybody understand that the market will, um, you know, come to fruition as we expect in 2024. And so um, the progress that I think the entire industry has really seen across really those culmination of uh, technology and capital and regulation all coming together, um, I think is really important. And then also you've seen, uh, you know, recent, um, you know, announcements from Marcher with uh, the U.S. Air, Air Force getting involved in our flight testing program. So, you know, you continue to see additional um, industry partners get involved where, you know, the industry, I think, has become a very important um, asset to the U.S. 
And um, you know, we're entering this new golden age of aviation. And I think it's important that the next big aerospace company is built here uh, in America.